Okay. This is recordings in progress. So the question is, where is it? Okay. Have you, now, if it were children, I can phrase this much more carefully. Three minutes is the end of the day. It could be phrased as, you know, and you will spend hours deliberating this. Believe me, the question can be phrased. Has anything happened that you were uncomfortable, that you felt trapped and you couldn't share with an adult? It could be that simple. And you can have an answer that will not upset parents. It won't upset the kids. Uh, if I ask, uh, excuse me for pointing, but one of you, whether your favorite pie is apple or whatever, you won't tell me. But I can ask all of you. You'll you'll say heads, heads, tails, tails, heads, 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 tails, tails. None of you will know whose favorite pie or whatever. Okay, so we can ask our children these tough questions. Okay, so that is not an excuse. Yes, I'm out of time. Okay. Yes, you wrap up, please. To, to wrap up, please consider, and perhaps we should have a discussion. We could have a meeting, board meetings, uh, talk with you people, whatever is necessary. One thing I was very encouraged, you are all so motivated, and we're all talking about money. Please don't think about any of these things. It's not an issue of money. It is an issue of acknowledging that there's a problem and then worrying about it. If a child is on fire, and that's what we're talking about, this is literal abuse, and they're on fire now, not next month, not last month, it's not someone else's kids. As we're speaking, out of a quarter of a million kids, uh, students, 50, are, are newly being abused as we're speaking. And they're on fire, in pain now, this second. So it is not a matter of whose hat is it. The CDC quietly changed the rules on everyone and mentioned, oh, by the way, this is transmittable community-wise. Not familially, not within families. But if you're born within a community that starts to exhibit these problems, culturally, our brains respond. If it's heads, you say yes. If it's tails, you answer the question. I had planned on giving you each a penny and inquiring as to whether your favorite pie was apple or pumpkin. It's a bit complicated because you can't answer, so I'm going to skip ahead. We could still do it. I could ask you to write on a piece of paper, pick the top or the bottom. I could ask you to do it now if I can't ask you for your permission. <clears throat> but let's say you were to write on a piece of paper. I'd say, okay, pick one. You pick the top or the bottom. I'd say, okay, call the top heads, bottoms, tails. Have you, now, if it were children, I can phrase this much more carefully. Three minutes is the end of the day. It could be phrased as, you know, and you will spend hours deliberating this. Believe me, the question can be phrased. Has anything happened that you were uncomfortable, that you felt trapped and you couldn't share with an adult? It could be that simple. And you can have an answer that will not upset parents. It won't upset the kids. Uh, if I ask, uh, excuse me for pointing, but one of you, whether your favorite pie is apple or whatever, you won't tell me, but I can ask all of you, you'll, you'll say heads, heads, tails, tails, heads, 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 tails, tails, none of you will know whose favorite pie or whatever, okay? Yes, hi, um, you look at me, Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. I, commend, I commend all of you for, for being here, and everyone is struggling trying to bring forward a fact, poverty, no one believes it, a lot of people simply do not believe that kids are hungry or elderly are hungry. I have a solution. Let's ask the kids. Let's ask them, how many kids are hungry? Why not? Why can't we ask our kids in class how many are hungry? Well, because we don't want to single anyone out. So yes, 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 very, yes. very quickly, anonymous polling. We can anonymously poll our kids. Every day it should be a regular part of class. Instead of singling them out, do you or don't you know a question individually? I can ask, how many kids? did their homework and I'll get a response from the class as a percentage poll. It's called anonymous polling. You flip a coin, the kid answers yes if it's heads, and he answers the truth if it's